Brand new Porsche on fire petrol station. Hello and welcome to the Gary Lynch Show with me, Gary Lynch. And these are the stories that piqued my interest today. First up, I want to give a special shout out to the Electek lad. No, I couldn't find any Irish Mexican wrestling news, unfortunately. Sorry, lads. <laughs> anyway, first up, I'm going to talk about Sam Pepper. If you've not heard about Sam Pepper, he's his dipshit who makes prank videos, right? He's from England, he does it in America, whatever. Basically, he's recently come under fire because he'd done a prank where he had a false hand in his pocket and he went up and he was grabbing girls' asses. Girls didn't like it, kicked off majorly online. So then, a couple of days later, he releases another video of a woman doing a same thing but again it backfires so then days later he releases another video stating it was all a social experiment and it's all oh, about violence against women but pure horse shit mate that comes out of your fucking mouth you chat bear shit do you think everyone is as dumb as you fucking look mate i mean look at a clip of this dipshit i know you're watching this right now and you're thinking sam pepper we hate you i know i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard time. I can't go on. <laughs> he is crying like a retarded fish. It's fucking stupid air as well, man. I just want to punch him in the face. Next up, a spider bite leads to an amputation. Andrea had been playing with her children when she was bitten on her finger. She had been bitten by one of these, a false widow spider, which was carrying a flesh-eating bug. Doctors told Andrea she was just hours from death. Um, there was pus that was black. Now, I'm sorry if you're eating, but holy f As if spiders weren't bad enough now to carry flesh-eating bugs with them. So a word to the wise, if you feel like you had a bite and it just felt like nothing but carries on hurting you, go to the hospital quick, get it checked out, because it might be flesh-eating bug. Next up, this silly wanker overfilled his tank at petrol station, and look what happened. A brand new Porsche 918 Spider caught fire at a petrol station in Toronto. Fire Chief Dave Fortas, hope I'm saying your name right, mate, initially thought that the fire was caused by overflowing the tank, but the investigation is still ongoing. It's in police custody and they're still doing their tests and stuff. Either way, you have to be some sort of fucking dipshit to overfill your tank. Okay, petrol keeps spilling out of the tank. Oh, let's keep filling, let's keep filling. Uh, bang, something happened. Moron. Rich people with expensive toys who know nothing about them. Silly wankers. Next up, we all know The Simpsons, don't we? Well, apparently in the past year, they've been hyping about a major death in The Simpsons, season 26 premiere, to be precise. But everyone is going nuts after they watch the episode. It turns out to be, spoiler alert, Krusty the Clown's dad. When the fuck was the last time Krusty's dad was in a fucking episode of Simpsons? How the fuck is he a major character? Ah, oh, so many people are pissed off about this. Lastly, the fappening has struck again. Okay. If you don't know what the Fappening is, it's all these celebrity leaked pictures. Just Google the Fappening, don't lie. Well, basically, there was three waves, and this being the third one. It hasn't got as many pictures as the first two waves, and Anna Kendrick appears clothed in all of them, so it looks like they're scraping the bottom of the barrel somewhere. But there are plenty of other nudes of other celebrities. If you want to see these pictures, they ain't going to be up for long. All I'm saying is Google's your friend, and the title of the albums is called The Fappening. I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to work out the rest. The FBI are working tirelessly trying to find out who released it and how they got in. But they have stated it was not the iCloud itself that was the problem. These were targeted attacks with people trying to guess passwords and obviously they just got them in. Their initial thought was correct. They did just use bot systems randomly guessing passwords and they obviously got in. If I was a celebrity and I had loads of naked pictures of myself. <laughs> I'd at least put a good strong password on my iCloud system. Just a thought. And that's it for today's show. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you really liked it, subscribe down below. Don't forget to share, tweet, Facebook me. My Facebook, my Twitter, down below. Along with everything else I've talked about today. I'm Gary Lynch, and I'll see you tomorrow.